Hey guys, X Reflection. Uh, I'm alive, back. Uh, sorry for the long hiatus of no videos. Um, the near the end of this year of med school it got kind of crazy. I got really busy, um, but I am back again. I will be doing an unboxing of a new gaming mouse that I bought from Newegg. It's the Gigabyte uh, GM Force M7 Thor version. Uh, it was on sale on Newegg for. $15, so I figured why not, because uh, my MX518 is starting to behave a little strangely while I'm playing, so I decided why not. I was looking at some other more expensive mice, but this one seemed like it could be a winner, but we'll see how it goes. And as you'll see, it's different from my current mouse because uh, MX518 is a palm mouse, this is a claw grip mouse. And already looking at it is humongous. Uh, you can see why some reviewers said that it was kind of big. But anyways, like I said, this is the Gigabyte Force M7 Thor gaming mouse. It has a 6,000 DPI laser sensor. Um, I don't really know what else. It's a five-button mouse. It's right-handed, and it has three stage DPI settings, um, just like the MX518 and probably a lot of other mice that are out there. So you can just have a uh, really fast, a really sensitive, media sensitivity, and then lower sensitivity than that, uh, depending on how you set it up in the software. And I'm just trying to figure out how you open this thing up. All right, so if I can actually open this properly. Oh. Let's get this baby out. It is definitely a big mouse from just the looks of it. As you can see. Uh, let, me, let me get my other mouse. Here's a couple other mice for comparison. Um, this is the Logitech 3, M310. This is the Logitech M305. Disconnecting my Logitech mouse proved to be a little more difficult than I anticipated. Um, so I'm going to forego comparing that. Hopefully, most of you people know what MX518 looks like. Um, but let's see what is included in the box for this mouse. Uh, um, there isn't much. Uh, it's just the mouse and the packaging. There's no instructions or any sort of thing at all. Get through that. All right, so let's look at the mouse. It is definitely a claw grip mouse. It is very strangely shaped. Um, as you can see, the the front is wide here, and just kind of holding that it feels kind of strange. But I'll we'll just see how how it works. Um, but actually, given my my grip that I use for my MX518, this actually work might work very nicely. It's kind of light. Um, and it feels much heavier than the, or much lighter than the wire, but that's probably because the wire is bound up here. Um, so you have the forward, backward buttons, uh, mouse four and five, mouse, mouse wheel, DPI sensor, or DPI changer. Um, it clicks when you press it. Um, I like the all black color as a design that says Thor on it. The USB connector is gold plated, although I don't think that really makes a difference. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is pretty straightforward unboxing. There isn't really much to unbox in that sense. Um, I'm just gonna put these back, but if you compare the sizes of some of these mice, this is obviously a lot bigger. And hopefully, it proves to be a worthy successor to my MX518 despite the fact that this is a cheap mouse. Um, but that's about it. That concludes this unboxing. I will hopefully have some other unboxings later this summer um, as I look to see what kind of electronics I want to buy. But I will leave you guys off with this. And once again, I apologize for the lack of videos. But that is the unboxing for the Gigabyte Force M7 Thor optical, or yeah, gaming mouse, laser gaming mouse, not optical. Um, 
and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.